Okay, we got a very special guest today. Tell the people what your name is. What do you go by? Man, uh, I go by Anmo. So yeah, Anmo. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so, so I I ran across your your page, your YouTube, and I saw that you were speaking yeah. English, and I was like, man, this dude has a, a really good a really good accent. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit because. You know, I got a YouTube yeah. channel where it's a bunch of people that are trying to learn languages, whether it be Spanish or English or whatever. So I just want to talk about your process or whatever. So what got you interested in learning English? So like, I'm going to say like, um, I like, I'm going to say like two years ago, I like, I was just scrolling down on YouTube and I went into this uh, music video of NBA Youngboy. You know who, who he is? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Youngboy. Yeah. So I went I ran into his video and when I played the video, I couldn't understand them. You know what I'm saying? But like I I wanted to like learn it, but at the same time like I couldn't understand any of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like I was like, damn, like this dude could like really speak like, you know, I wanna I wanna be able to sound like this, you know, even though like I'm gonna say I ain't really have an accent before that. Like I'm gonna say I had a thick accent before that, but I never speak English. Mm -hmm. You mean by like I used to like speak English words like here and there, like a little bit, you know? Like do on you, database, do like, you do you still remember what your accent sounded like? Can you do it or not? <laughs> the people around me, like my yeah. friend just sitting uh bed right now, and he still like talk like this so like i still know how it sound or whatever but like if i try to like sound like dumb it'd be hard for me yeah oh okay so why specifically yeah. nba young boy why did you pick nba young boy was he just the first person to pop up or is there something that you like about him or what for him too but like i don't know it was just something about that dude like i don't know but like at first i didn't know like where you from or whatever but like when i listened to him like he sounded kind of cool at first, though. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. I, I really, like, started this to sound more cool. I'm going to say that. But, yeah. like, I was just trying to sound cool around these people. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. like, after some time, I was like, damn, like, I could really, like, learn English for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could really mm -hmm. do this for real. So that's, yeah, that's how I got into it. And so... Does it sound cool to people over there? Because you've never been to the United States, right? I don't necessarily like talk to them like in English. So I use uh, the uh, local language and I try to avoid the English words that they use. So I don't like get it confused when I speak English. You know what I'm saying? Mm, so so there's there's certain English words that they use over there that you think that we don't use that much over here. I mean, they use the same words, but like the way they say it is kind of weird. You know oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so so what's your process for for learning? Like, do you do any kind of formal stuff, or is it all just listening and like, yo, I'm I'm gonna just repeat after them? Like, I'm gonna say it's no it's no formal like it's no formal stuff or none of that. I really just been like doing it for like two years, but like I'm gonna say. I only recall myself. That's it, really. And I, I'm gonna say, um, I don't recall it over like uh, two thousand or three thousand videos in like two months, like last two months. Like I recall myself every day, every mm. day. What okay. Is it, no matter how bad I'm feeling or whatever, yeah. And so, how how do you make? Hmm, let me think about how to say this. How do you make corrections? You watch the video and what do you see? Like, what do you hear that you're like, oh, I need to fix this or I need to whatever? Look, I'm going to say this. Hold on. Let me think. Look, for the most um, for the most part, like, I know when I make mistakes at the, uh, while I'm listening to my recording. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, like, while I talk, I don't, like, uh, you know, like, I don't be knowing like I be making mistakes and stuff like that. But when I listen to my uh listen to my videos, I be like, damn, like that was a silly mistake. Like I could have really like avoided it. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't yeah. big of a deal. But at yeah, the nah. uh, same time, when I don't know. No, nah, I get that. That makes yeah. sense. And so what do you think yeah. in in this case, uh 
you're copying a rapper that is from where's young boy from baton rouge right yep. okay rouge. you're copying a rapper that's from baton rouge what do you think it's a lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, my family's. I told you my family's from out there, so I, I know, I know a little bit here and there. But what do you think specifically stands out about that accent? What do you focus on and say like this is uh, the characteristics of a Baton Rouge accent that I need to make sure I got? Or do you? So know? Listen, dude. I sound <laughs> crazy, but like I don't even know no more. Like, like these are the differences. It's just so like I'm so used to this. Like it's just like normal to me now. Okay, you know so you like, didn't probably, you go ahead, go ahead. I I'll be like, damn, like he he sound different. He don't sound like me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm yeah. So you so didn't like, you didn't have like 50 different accents and just pick this one. You just pick this one and everything else you don't even know about. Like no. Okay. Yeah. No, that made that makes sense. And so you said you never you never been to the United States, right? No, I'm trying to go there though. Yep. okay so <laughs> yeah that's gonna be uh that's gonna be interesting man that's um that'll be a good time for you it's always fun to try to test your uh your accent out around the yep. native people to see if they could tell that you're not from like, there like what you think about it though about your accent what you think about yeah like if i mean I if i you, like, if 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 i never met you before and i heard you talk yeah. i would think i would think you were from Louisiana. I don't know if I would say you were from Baton Rouge, but I would definitely think you were from Louisiana. Huh? That's a huge compliment to me. That's a huge compliment to me. No, nah, you got a you got a, a great accent, man. It's a uh, it's impressive. A lot of people, a lot of people don't feel comfortable doing a. Uh, I guess I'm gonna say an impersonation. It's not really an impersonation because it's just you learning. But they feel like it's an impersonation and they're like, oh, I'm pretending to be somebody I'm not. So they're kind of scared to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I'd be feeling like this sometimes too, though. But like at the same time, like it's me, I guess, like different me. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I I think um I think it's not bad as long as you don't switch it up around different people. If you talk like that around black people but then when you get around like a different kind of people you switch your accent then i think then i think it's bad but if that's just how you're going to talk all the time i think that's fine i think you chose an accent and you just uh you just running with it you know what i'm saying i think that's uh i think that's cool and like i said if i met you and i didn't know you i would think you was from louisiana to be honest i got a lot of a lot of little cousins and older cousins that are from Louisiana, but maybe they don't live there no more. So they don't got like a super, super strong accent no more. That's kind of what you remind me of. The people that I know that's like deep in Baton Rouge, they they accents are so crazy that I just I, I know you're not like, like that. But I'm not trying to sound like dumb, like exactly, because it'll sound like hood in a way, like you know what I'm saying? Like it'd it be so thick to the yeah. point where like it'd be hard for Louisiana people to like like understand me, you know. Sometimes yeah, yeah. You uh, you know Kevin Gates. Yeah, I know Kevin Gates. Yeah, Kevin Gates. He he got a pretty pretty thick accent. He's not he's not hard to understand, but you could definitely tell he's from Baton Rouge. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think somebody with a a a Baton Rouge accent that's pretty clear is a uh, Boosie. You know, Boosie he got a Baton Rouge accent, but it's easy to understand him when he talks. Though it's not it's not nothing crazy. So, no, nah, that's cool, though. So you don't do no kind of, um, like, grammar exercises in a book or nothing like that. Look, this was crazy part about it. My daddy, uh, he's a teacher of English. So oh, he really? never teach me nothing. Yeah, he, don't, he, don't, he ain't never teach me nothing. He go to school, he teach uh, everybody, but, like, his accent is so thick. Like, sometimes I be having, like, difficulties trying to understand him. So, like... <laughs> Yeah, and when I speak English, he be like, "Damn, dude, like you don't sound like you speak English. You just speaking a whole different language." Mm -hmm. To him, yeah. yeah. And so, okay, so you say you don't do anything formal. What's a what's a typical day like for you, as far as English goes? Do you wake up and listen to music? You watch podcasts or what? 
So look, this is what I do. For the most part, like, I just listen to music, like, throughout the day. And I be watching, like, interviews here and there. Like, you know, like, for instance, I just wake up. So I wake up, uh, I listen to, like, a couple musics from people from there. And then I'm on, uh, like, listen to, like, you know, watch a couple interviews or whatever like that for a couple minutes and then try to, like, imitate them in a way. But, like, I still be doing it, but, like, I be feeling like I don't got to do it no more. Like, it's, it's, it's not that hard to do it. Yeah. But I still be doing it. Like, I, I was just recording myself, like, an hour ago. Yeah. So, yeah. And so have you thought about, have you thought about, I'll say that again. I say I, I talk to myself in English. I'm oh, you talk myself. to yourself in English. Okay. And what's your, what's your native, what's your native language? Hindi. Hindi? Hindi. Yep. Oh, okay. And so, but you still, do you still think in that language though? I don't think so, bro. Like, I mean, so. not. <laughs> like, this, this might sound crazy, but like, I talk it when you know, whenever I want to. But like, always just thinking in it. Like, nah, like, I always think thinking English. Mm. Yeah. Is it? Like, always. I'm just, I'm just asking a question about pronunciation. This is kind of random. Is it Hindi or is it Hindi? Hindi. It's the. It's not D. Is D in D in D? Does in D? Oh Hindi. shit! I've been saying Hindi. Hindi this whole time. I didn't know. Shit. Sure. <laughs> okay. I've been saying Hindi too. Uh huh. Sometimes I be saying Hindi too when I speak English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let let me um. I just like I said, I want to dive into this into this process a little bit. You listen to music, you watch interviews. Okay. Have you ever thought about like refining your English a little bit and doing something formal, you know, like doing some grammar stuff or whatever, just to make sure you're not missing out on nothing? Yep, yep. I'm to be honest, like I'm really just planning on like just starting my grammar, like you know, like just trying to learn my grammar a little bit, you know. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't know, I ain't started yet, but like I'm just thinking about like doing it. So my English could be like way better, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. And so is there anything, um, is there anything in this day, like today, that you struggle with understanding, like any type of slang or or any type of like sentence structure? Is there anything that still kind of confuses you a little bit? Sometimes I run into like words, but I feel like sometimes native English speakers do uh even like even they Sometimes run into like phrases here and there that they don't get. I guess. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, uh, as far as me, like I understand people from there from Louisiana like ninety percent of the times. I'm just saying mm -hmm. ninety five to be exact. Like sometimes yeah, they they be saying some stuff that I don't get, but like then I look it up. Ooh. Yeah. So what was the last thing that you heard that you didn't understand? Do you remember the last thing that you heard that you didn't understand? I don't even know. Like, <laughs> I understand everything, bro. Everything. Okay, so now I'm just thinking. So there's probably a bunch of stuff. Like, I, I, I the last time I was in Louisiana was like 2018, maybe 2017. But there's probably so much stuff that I know that you don't even know, just because like my people are from there. And so I'm just thinking, like, do you? Like, is it weird when you hear people talk about, like, crawfish and stuff? Y'all got crawfish over there? Y'all don't have crawfish over there, right? You don't got this. So you don't, you don't even know what crawfish tastes like, huh? No, I don't even know it. But you know what it is, though? Yeah, I know what it is, though. I That's know crazy. Everything about Luke, for the most part, like, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so crazy so you never tasted like you never tasted alligator or nothing like that huh no nah, nah, we don't got none of that we, got, we only got chick that's it. <laughs> that's it nah that's that's uh yeah. that's crazy man that's um that's a weird thought to think that uh you know all about something but you never like tried it before yeah. 
So that's the that's probably the first thing you want to do, huh? Get you some crawfish, get you a po' boy and stuff like that when you touch down. Mm -hmm. That's yep, yep. Uh, that's cool, man. Yep. Well, I didn't want to I didn't want to keep you on here for too long. I just wanted to kind of just show everybody that like with two years of I don't know how much time you put in a day, but it really doesn't matter. The fact is that like in two years you went from wherever you were at to speaking like this. And so there's a lot of people that think like, oh, it takes 10 plus years and you still and won't be able to talk to a native speaker. Go ahead, go ahead. My daddy, he, I was just talking to him like the other day about this stuff, about this topic. And he was like, people from here, like from India, exactly what, I mean, where you from? People from there can never like, I mean, sound like a native. I mean, he can't. And I kind of like proved them wrong, but like he still like think I don't sound like this. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So no, I'm it's it, them like it's it tough. Is, it is way. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's a tough subject, and a lot of times people won't believe it until they see it. Like I would have to talk to your dad and tell him like he sounds native to me, and then he might believe it. You know what I mean? But if you just tell him, he's gonna be like, nah, nah. And so, like you just imitating them people, but you yeah. can't like really talk it. Yeah, nah, but that's that's exactly why I want to get you on here, man. I want to show people that you you got this accent, but you can also have a conversation. You know what I mean? Maybe this is not this is not as fast as some people talk, but the fact is, we're having a conversation right now, and you're understanding everything I'm saying. You know what I mean? So, um. Yeah, I'm gonna um I'm gonna, uh -huh. I was kind of uh I was kind of, I'm gonna say I was kinda of nervous at, at first though. <laughs> nah, that's normal. It's it's normal, yeah. I was gonna say everybody gets nervous on camera, even if you speak in your native language. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, no, you did great, man. Um I'm gonna put your I'm gonna put your YouTube in the title of the video, you know what I mean? I don't know if you plan on making like more videos and stuff, but if you do, hopefully people follow you. Huh? I, I bro, appreciate you. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to show everybody like what's possible with language. So I hope that you uh continue to post videos on your YouTube about, you know, whatever, so people could watch you and, and see you develop in the English language. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, all right man anything you want to say before we head out it's all good bro just learn it just learn it bro <laughs> just, just put in time and see the results i'm telling you and yeah, first definitely. you might not believe me it's, it's all possible yeah you're proof of that man yeah bro all right man well you, bro. you have a you good night man all right bro you too bro. all right Take it easy. Peace. Bye.